Texas wind. <clears throat> a bunch of semi trucks were honking at me as we were going by, and Trish was like, "Why are they honking at you?" <laughs> I said, "I don't know. Maybe we're going too slow." But uh, there's always a reason. There is always a reason. So today, that's the reason right there. demo going on this morning. Yeah. You're doing a beautiful job. I thought she was going to say, you're doing it wrong. Oh, stop. <laughs> I think we got a lively crew. That's what I think. Yeah. Hi, Charlie's back. Hi, handsome pants. Hey, the beard is up here. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? <laughs> He's done this before. We played this one. Must be the one. That's Army Training Academy. 175. Busy morning. Trish and I have been getting a lot of work done, and it's Monday morning, and so for us, that's usually a pretty busy morning. We just get kind of caught up because the video takes so much time on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And so we're here at a Boondockers Welcome, which has just been delightful. Uh, started off this morning with a little bit of a go kart. Is this a Boondockers Welcome perk, the go kart? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Certain, certain, certain individual. <laughs> and now we're taking Charlie again. How do we? It'd be all right. To taking Charlie to this? Well, if we can always leave him in the car with one of us, okay. and the other two can go explore. So what's really cool about Boondockers Welcome is your hosts can provide great information, and there was just something we were gonna miss. It was a big one. It was a big one. It was a Route 66 Centennial. I don't want to call it a museum, but there's a or some of the original Route 66 it's road. It's like a preservation. Yes, and there's like a statue with a Model T and some horses and some really cool stuff that surprisingly was not on our radar. I know. So it's 15 minutes away. We're going to pop over there and go check it out, and then we're going to come back here, hook up, and make our way down yeah. to Texas. Adapter die, you gotta, you gotta make these or you gotta switch over to making rims for cars. Adapter die, baby. There's a great quote by Henry Ford that I love. What's that? And he said, if I would have asked what people wanted, they would have said faster horses. Hey Caleb, check it out. This bridge. This bridge was created in 1915 to cross the Arkansas River right here. It was used on Route 66 from 1916 to 1972. Can you believe how long that is? 1916 to 1972. Isn't that cool? Oh wow, that's a long time. That's a long time. Massive amount of history on this bridge right here. And it's one of the few sections on Route 66 that you can really see one of the original roads somewhat preserved, in this case, you know, preserved that you can't get on it, but uh, we're actually on the route. And I think they've done a really great job with the sculpture and the Route 66, Tulsa on the bridge, and it's pretty neat. So I'm glad we stopped to share this uh, along the way. He's ready to go. He's sitting in his seat, Charlie boy. How's it going? Always need an extra roll of paper towels, good. Always, yes? Yes, are you ready? I'm ready. ready. To hit the road? Okay, so yes. here's where KYD can sometimes be a little confusing. Why? Okay. Why? Because we are now diverting for the second time off of Route 66 from Tulsa. Uh -huh. We're going to go down to Athens, Texas to the National RV Training Academy <laughs> where we're hosting an E3 camping kind of rally education event. Yeah, it's going to be fun. And then we're going to go over to Dallas and back up to Oklahoma City and continue our Oklahoma City episode. Yes. So sometimes it can be a little difficult of how to like keep up with where we are. It's confusing to us. Sometimes I want to know, are, is <laughs> this, is this, are we in the now or are we in the now now?
does this happen in the movie? Now. You're looking at now, sir. Everything that happens now is happening now. What happened to then? We passed then. When? Just now. We're at now now. Go back to then. When? Now. Now? Now. I can't. Why? We missed it. When? Just now. When will then be now? Soon. Right. Hey, thanks for a great stay. Hey, no problem. No problem. Yeah. And thanks for the recommendation. That was fun to go over there. That worked. That was great. Hey, you want to test the brakes? Yeah, are we all set back there? Yeah, brakes and blinkers. Okay. Okay, so now we're headed down to, in the now now, we are headed down to Athens, Texas, but we're going to swing by Paris, Texas, because Trish wants to see the Eiffel Tower with a cowboy hat Wait. on it. And that's what we do now. Our route <laughs> goes from novelty to novelty. Just That's what we do, a roadside attraction. Doesn't mean... You know, and it's actually been a lot of fun. Yes. Hey, and and hold on, how otherwise would we have been able to get to meet Gary here? Let me zoom in on Gary. Okay. All right. Left lane, left lane. Left lane, right? Right lane, right lane. My other left, your other left. Are you getting on that highway? Yes, please. All right. Hold on, Gary. We're turning right. By the way, if you're wondering why it's raining, because it wasn't raining when we left, it's because the, today is tomorrow. Now, we are here at the Paris, Texas Eiffel Tower, and there is the Red River Valley Veterans Memorial, which I've heard is really cool. And uh, and there's the tower. What are you doing in there? It's raining. All right, what do we know about the Paris, Texas Eiffel Tower? Um, I think you did the research I did a little this. bit of research. Here's what we know. Okay, tell me. Okay. It was created in, I believe, 93 All by right. the like steel erectors here in town. They and did a great job. There's one in Tennessee also. Perfect, because there's a Paris, Texas. There's a Paris, Paris Tennessee. Tex Tennessee. And I don't know if it's a coincidence or if it was a competition. I do know this is five feet taller. Because <laughs> we're in Texas, baby. Because everything's bigger in Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas. I've also heard that this is one tenth the size of the real Eiffel Tower, and if that's whoa, the whoa, case, what do you mean real? You mean the one in Paris? Excuse me, I misspoke. <laughs> then could you imagine if this was only one tenth of the astonishment of the real Eiffel Tower? I feel about I feel about ten percent astonished. You feel ten percent astonished. <laughs> I think this is kind of fun. I mean, when you were going through town, you can't go through town and not stop and see it. I mean, yeah. because you're an RVer yeah. and you got to see these kinds of things. You, you do can, this season. It, yeah, <laughs> whether you want to or not. <laughs> Here we are. Like that at all. You can park right here on this. Street. So then I decided to go at an angle like this Stop right here. without acknowledging the fact that I would then have to go over a curb pulling the Subaru. Stop. You want me to stop here? Yeah. I'm going to stop up there. Okay. So Trish is going to go into the grocery store and I'm going to see if I jacked anything up for lack of a better term because there are better terms but that's how I'm feeling right now. Grass right here. That, that wasn't here. That definitely was not there. I'm hoping that I just hit something here because that's a steel frame. Well, what's this thing? And then let's check the Subaru and let's check the uh, Roadmaster. Let's check the Roadmaster. That all looks good. I think we got lucky. We got good on that one, Dad. <laughs> Will you not talk like that? Just because we're in Texas. <laughs> we got lucky, Trish. No damage. Wow. We got damn darn good. Will you stop okay. that? All checked in. We're in a site that isn't even on the map. It's a brand new site. Whoa. Hey, Caleb. Yeah. Can you help me disconnect the tow vehicle? 
I'm getting set up over here and I'm cleaning and I know this sounds really ridiculous but I'm cleaning the threshold because it's so nasty and dirty and this had hair all over it but the coolest thing is I just found someone inscribed on our threshold the date I'm assuming it's the date that it left the factory and it says 12 20 83 I think that's amazing what are you doing just taking on some plastic oh get a close-up get a close-up get a close-up Woo! Look at that. That's pretty nice. Yeah. You're back in the shag? Mm -hmm. You know, when your mom used to have shag carpeting, she said she also had a, a rake. Oh. So she would vacuum it and she'd break it. Might be the next level. Christmas is coming. <laughs> 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 What are you doing in here? Uh, hello. Uh -uh. <laughs> Getting my hair ready. <laughs> hey, the guys are washing the rig. I'm very excited about that. Very excited. Yeah, we'll be able to see through the windows. Oh, it'd be great. Are they gonna have a chance to like address the little hubcaps or whatever they're called? Uh, they're gonna polish the wheels. Yes. And they're gonna clean the Subaru. <laughs> they're cleaning the Subaru? Wow. I'm way more excited about the bird than the Subaru. The Subaru looks like trash. Well, I don't I'm think sorry. they do inside though. Oh, okay. Yeah. I gotta drop the dog off. Oh my gosh. For Charlie? Yes. Yeah, oh, so you what do? What are they gonna do with the Subaru? Oh my god, well, really? Yeah. Oh, all right. When's he, well, it's anytime before noon? Yeah. All right, I think you should be all right. Okay. Mark. What? Have you seen your rims? No. They're gorgeous. I wanna see. You gotta come see them. I bet they're not even done yet. I bet he hasn't even put a lumen bright on. I bet they're just washed. Oh. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, now I gotta get new hub covers. Look, look over here. Ooh, this man. Is sweet. I got Charlie dropped off. Everybody's getting washed. Everything's getting washed. <laughs> this is our the ultimate Charlie's regroup. Getting washed. The Subaru's getting washed. Um, anyway, we got washed. We, Caleb and I got haircuts. You got it. You got I your got hair. I got my hair done. We're good. Okay. Man, it looks good, doesn't it? Wow. That is so nice. Great kite deck. So this is uh, Todd's studio. Pretty excited yeah. to see it. He's like super excited. Yeah. What's going on? Cool. How are you? How are you? Yeah. Good to see you. This is fancy. Well. I love it. Fancy. Good morning. <laughs> good to see you again. Good to see you. Yeah. Well, I think what he's going to do is he's going to review a little bit okay. of what we're going to go through. Yeah. We'll try and make it um, as as punchy as possible, I guess. But there's also going to be a serious side to it. So I like that when you hold the camera for me, it's somewhere around here. Yeah, I know. And when you hold it for Todd, it's like somewhere around I don't know. Here. If with Matt and Todd, I don't bring know if I've got the rotator cuffs to, right, to hang like, out with you too often. Hey, the beard is up here. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the man with the plan? Uh, well, I hope so. Yeah. So I just wanted to kind of run through what we're going to do so it's not all a surprise. Okay. From Athens, Texas, in RBTA Studios, deep in the Texan RV park. Featuring Todd Henson and Tony Flanagan, it's the Beard and Bun Show. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. It's a little bit funny. It's a little... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to say, it's a little bit funny. <laughs> right, just pick, pick one out. That was. A, well, I think that's, you did it. That's a little genie. <laughs> wow. Done He's How done about this. That? He's done this before. We've this one must be the one. Um, tell us the most embarrassing thing 
you've ever done on the road. Okay, it does depend. Okay, it depends. It does. Can we can we take just a few minutes on this one and, and we'll go no, fast no, on the rest of them? No, no, we're failing miserably, Mark. Okay, okay when Mark went to go empty the tank. That one little surprise. Cover. Surprise. Yeah. So um yeah, we call that a poopsie, mm -hmm. and it's not fun. Success. Yes. We had fun. I hope it was informative. And now we're going to. It was move definitely fun. I, I it, well, hope yes, it was informative. Yes, yeah. exactly. And I and I was inside of a Tech Tip Tuesday video. Two minute Tech Tip Tuesday. How fun is that? I That's mean, you're pretty cool, cool now. Yeah. That's like you know I that like should it. go on the resume. So here's a great Tech Tip for you. A lot of you may want to ask. Hey, I have this neat little button on my truck that says tow haul. The question is, should I actually employ that? Turn that on all the time? But wait, I'm not going to answer that. I'm going to go ahead and bring on a special guest. Are you ready? Here we got Mark. I'm supposed to answer the question? Yeah, I think so. I thought so. you were going to answer the question. I thought I was going to come up with the question. Okay. And you were going to answer it. But I have a couple tips, but sure. I'd like to hear your thoughts too. Okay, when I when I tow, <laughs> I turn mine on. I turn mine on <laughs> too. <laughs> it's as simple as that. It is. I <laughs> turn it off when I'm not towing. <laughs> so well, that's what really, I was like, ooh, am you I You really just shot right to the punchline yeah, on that. So I mean, so and we did a whole, uh, a whole deal that I imagine will link to wherever people can find that. Oh, it's going on the interwebs. Okay. Yeah. All right, hey. You can see, can you tell, can you see the rims from the here? The flash, that's what I'm gonna call the I'm glad you have now. your glasses on because it could have damaged the <laughs> retina out, by just out. looking at the RV. Yes. But now I gotta so go shiny. find him, and I gotta go find him, I gotta go pay him. We actually built that because we wanted to make sure our inspector students had the opportunity to see what a damaged roof and everything looks like oh. without putting 20 people on top of an RV roof. Smart. You can't do that. Yeah. So that is exactly what that's for. Oh, that's it's awesome. Really People cool. are often surprised um, what we do here. They think we're just a classroom and you sit in front of a PowerPoint all day, but we actually put your hands to work because you're going to learn it so much better, mm -hmm. you know? I see Victron stuff around you. Do Is it mostly Victron? Yeah, or? yeah. Okay. so and it's just simply, I mean, we're set up with everyone, but yeah. they just really have, if, I'm, if we're going to do teaching, you know, on solar, because Vitron has one of the strongest GUIs. Yeah, yeah. On Vitron, it does. It everything does. else is going to be the same. Yeah. So, like on this build over here, it's just going to be a single multi plus two mm -hmm. with uh, three Battleborn batteries. This one is a double quattro 5,000. So we got 10,000 watts in there. And wow, that's eight. big because I've got I've got dual 3,000 multi plus dual twos three. running in parallel. Yeah, yeah, and that's a lot of power. That's a lot. You're right. What what is is that someone's RV? Yes. So oh, how how does that work? Like how does someone get to be the um, the, <laughs> the guinea pig? Or yeah. So it's actually just the students. It's you know because there's such popularity with okay. this. What I do is you know for anyone who reaches out and says hey look I would you know I'd like to volunteer my rig. And okay. Well you have to come to class because my students. <laughs> oh, I think it's that. I think it is. <laughs> right. Okay. Because you know we don't, we don't charge for the install. You go to class. You know, yeah. And actually, you're the one helping install it. So. But then you got to see people learning on your rig. It's not right. free. No. That's not free. How many people are here are RVers compared to going to class to become a certified RV mobile mechanic? So, uh, well, in the advanced courses that are going on now, 90% of those are going on to be you know a certified technician. In the solar class, probably 50-50 okay. is what we have. And a lot of them, they're just coming, some of them just coming to learn how to install and just become installers. Mm -hmm. Just saying hi to Corbin. Hi, guys. How's it going? Hi. Hello, welcome. Hi, very nice hi. to meet you, Trish. Steven. Hi, Mindy. Mindy, nice to meet you. Oh, baby. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm putting one of these in the freezer. You are Charlie. Oh, you're just sweet. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, welcome, come in. We are friends of yours from Sunday night. Yeah. <laughs> nice, I love it. And I can't tell you enough of how much you have changed our Okay, big life. picture, we're here at the big red NRVTA, which means you are skilled at what you do. We're all here learning, growing, but now it's a fun day. We're going on a wine tour. There's two huge buses taking off to go to two separate wineries, and they're gonna meet us in the middle, and we're gonna go say hi to everybody. There's been so much going on, I barely have words for it. So here's a little video of what's been going on this weekend. I can feel the intelligence.
So my family recently bought a 1984 Bluebird. <laughs> <laughs> Why? And I don't want to say names, but my father would not let me drive. Do you have any tips on convincing? <laughs> sounds like a real jerk. <laughs> and your father is probably listening to his, uh, to your mother, is my guess. And your mother... <laughs> We actually sent pictures to some people that didn't make it. Yeah. We were like, wish you were here, don't be jealous. It's really nice that, you know, they're able to bring people together in groups like this. And everyone's like-minded, so it just, it makes it super easy. While the education is really superb, it's the camaraderie away from the classroom that's been the funnest. If you weren't here, you missed out. If you're a newbie, you should come, because you'll learn a lot. E3 camping, this is, we started E3 camping about a year ago, and we knew that it was just going to snowball and layer and layer and continue to get better and better and better, and after a year, I think we're at finally at a, a milestone where now we can continue to make it even better. It's an entire platform and community based around RV education, courses from the very beginning, community, events, um, discounts, promo codes, all, all sorts of fun stuff. So if you're interested in that, just go to e3camping.com, check it out. We'd love to have you, love to see you over there on the platform. And that's all we'd say about that. I got a special shout out. Yes? Maggie. Yes. I can't see myself, it's very Oh, it's dark. right here, it's not there, it's here. Come oh. <laughs> here, come over here. <laughs> yeah. I'll do a Kayla. <laughs> anyway, Maggie, thank you for your sweet letter. She says, may I have a shout out? Uh, yes, you can. Thank you so much how for old participating. Is Maggie? I don't know how old she is, but she's, of Caleb's generation. Okay. All yes. Right. And so, anyway, thanks for coming to the cooking show mm -hmm. and um, really participating and being awesome. Thank you about that. We got. Right. Uh, we still got. We got to go to Dallas now. We got lots to do, and so um, I think that's it for right now. But we'll catch you next Sunday. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Drone accident. First drone accident ever. Went up to grab it like that. Oh, you poor thing. I know. I was in a hurry. You're dang always it. in a hurry. Yeah, that's always a problem. Yeah. It's in cover. It's in cover. <laughs> Editor's note. That's me. I'm the editor, but I forget these things. Gary just fell over again with the GoPro footage. Ready, Charlie? <laughs> oh man, it got windy. Oh, Mom. All right, you're gonna take Charlie to the groomer? I'm gonna take Charlie to the groomer, and I'll try and get back really quick. Well, because so we're gonna do a video with Todd in his studio about something or other okay. at 11, and then we're gonna do a winterized video with Todd for E3 Camping, so we got a lot going on today. Yeah. Busy okay, day. I gotta go. All right, bye-bye. Right, tower right there. Wait, hold on, let me get in there. There you go. No, I'm skydiving. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Surfing. <laughs> you lay on the table, you skydive. Ah, uh, oh, 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 good question. Yeah, I like that. So what are we talking about again? Toe haul and that's not it at all. How do I set up my toe? How do I set up my haul? Because we put it together, we get toe haul. You know, so you want me to say it? Sure. Oh, wow. So I just pop in? Yeah, you just kind of pop in. Yeah, all right. You do it again. So bottom line, when you're towing, hit the little button so that you get the little weight. All right. <laughs> I can feel the intelligence. Um, I got this one. Bring on the grub. Hey man, that table really is nice. Is How, it that? Does it fold up pretty good? It folds up just like a normal folding table. Oh, it does. Yeah. But it's and heavy. How bottom, heavy is it? The bottom pulls off, so you don't need to use the bottom. But 
that's separate, but yeah. Do you know what Stephanie's mom does? No. She teaches all the spouses during the time where the other spouse is working. Yeah. How to use their absorption fridge, convenient ways to cook. What's the what's another way? talks about their propane oven, right? Everybody hates their propane oven when they first get it because they burn everything. Yes. She talks about ways you can make it more efficient mm -hmm. and not burn your brownies and all Important that good things. stuff. <laughs> all right, so uh, what I like to do is I like to go in, I like to just see if everything's ready, so. Yeah, just, ooh, is it ready? Okay, about two more seconds. Okay. Just let it rise and oh. voila. Ooh. Man, you nailed it. Made. You Thank pulled you. them out just And you the just right want time. the air. You don't want it to deflate. Everybody knows those need about 230 years to, to come to Yeah, the right, to come to right life. Temp. And also, you want more air than anything else. <laughs> yeah. This is about... You know what? I, a couple days ago, I bought a bag of air, and it came with some potato chips at the bottom. Well, you know, the companies are nice like that. Hey, well, so now, the challenge is on. Oh, my yeah, God. <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible? Yes, is it possible? Oh. Wow. Okay. Hold That's on. impressive. But you can't read it. Bill, if I pass you. Wait, the scenic route is like a, a drone? I thought he'd be on a road. And, and this one is. They're all different. A lot of times they're. Bill, I'm coming for like you. It looks like he's like E.T. Yeah. He's like taking yeah. off. Charlie was a good dog. Oh, you brought Charlie? What did you get? Uh, I ended up getting two big pots of flowers. I figured we could put a camping chair out and put one flower pot on it, one on the ground. Let's see. Show me what you got. And then we'll get, and then we'll get some pumpkins. Wow! Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. We gotta get seasonal. Yes. Let's get seasonal. Oh wow.